Hello, my name is Jason Straw. I'm a retired U.S. Air Force Terminator. And behind me is the link on Marinol, which was approved by the FDA in 1985. I always like to think it's 1984. I guess it's the book. But on the other, on the other side, I just want to go over Marinol, which is synthetic, man-made, 100% pure THC that the FDA approved for cancer patients for nausea and then later approved for AIDS patients for appetite stimulant. It's a Schedule 3 drug, which means it's relatively safe. And I used to give it when I was working in the Air Force. It's a little tiny kind of orange pill and it helped the patients a lot with their nausea. Some people it doesn't work for, they need the real plant. But when I went to talk to the Indiana Drug Commissioner, Jim McCollin, I brought him this information and let him know that the FDA approved THC, 100% pure, and it's synthetic. So if you're Argument is you can't make marijuana legal because, oh, it's got 20% or 40% THC in it. The federal government already approved THC for medical use. Very similar to what the Indians did when they had willow bark or leaves that they chewed, which had aspirin in it, which we later isolated and we made it into aspirin and we used it to treat pain and blood clots and help prevent and save lives for heart attacks. So is it is marijuana safer than Marinol? We don't know. Mar marijuana is a Schedule One drug and the American Bar Association came out with resolution 104, which encourages Congress to remove marijuana from the Controlled Substance Act and to deschedule marijuana off of the Schedule 1 so research can be done. Any government, in my opinion, that will not allow you to research something that has a known medical value seems to be hiding something. And when I went to see Jim McClellan, our Indiana Drug Commissioner, I pleaded to, with him to try a pilot study for our patients who have opioid use disorder to try medical marijuana, like they did in Maine and like they're doing in Arizona which had a lot of success with their pilot studies. Now, will it work for everybody? Probably not. No, no treatment works for everybody. But knowing that THC in the form of Marinol has been approved since 1985, which is longer than quite a few people have been alive now, this means that we have research on THC and we know that it is safe and we also know that the DEA has on its website as of last night when I checked that marijuana ha as a side effect has had no known overdose deaths. So put those two things together, no known overdose deaths from marijuana, THC in the form of a synthetic FDA approved drug known as Marinol as a Schedule 3 has been approved since 1985 and was researched in the 70s is sitting out there. Why shouldn't we allow the plant version, marijuana slash cannabis, to be legalized to be used by patients and further research to be done? Again, this is Jason Straw. I just want to give you an update about some of the aspects of cannabis. Thank you. Have a great day. See you later.